Hi everyone, I'm Luis. Today we are going to uh, have a look how to get a new smart vending machine set up when you get the, the new machine. This is a two in one combo machine with the same controller. The connection cables are at the back side. When you get a new machine, you should connect the left cabinet and the right cabinet together. This is a connecting cable. You see this is a slot. Put it and screw. And then plug the power cable. This is the left cabinet and right cabinet to the socket. Now the machine is already connected to the power. Enjoy Pax car reader When you connect the machine to the power The first step you need to do will be get the machine connected to internet You can connect the machine to internet by Wi-Fi or by using a 3G, 4G SIM card Now let me show you how to connect the machine by Wi-Fi You can enter into the uh, Android setting from here, you see this Android setting from here, this Wi Fi. Or if you are in the buy in page, you can keep your fingers on top of this number V4.033 and then enter password. Confirm. Then you enter into Android setting, click Wi Fi, connect Wi Fi. Now Wi-Fi is connected. If Wi-Fi is not available at your site, then you can connect the machine to internet by using a 3G or 4G SIM card. The SIM card should be inserted to this Android board. Here, there's a car slot here. After connecting the machine to the Wi-Fi, the second step will be create a product database from the mobile phone. Now let's see how to do it. Log in mobile system. Click goods. Click the plus at the bottom. Click upload image. Choose from album. And then input the product information and price. Confirm. Finished. And then you can click the edit button to change the information. After you set up the product database, the third step will be put the products inside the goods tray. Open the door. Lift up the goods tray a little bit and pull it out. And then put the products one by one and then after finish put it back lift up put it back after you put the products inside the goods tray then you need to log in the mobile system click device and you will find the machine here the device code same here, click this one and then click product setup. You can select the products for each goods slot. For example, I would like to change this one to cola. I should click cola and then confirm. You see this one become cola and then you should fill the shortage to fill in the uh, number inventory. For example, uh, this one you uh, fill in four, then edit four. Confirm. Okay. Also, you can fill up the whole floor when when it is full, and you can fill up. The whole cabinet or even the whole machine. 
Now the machine is ready for testing. Now let's see how to do the APB setting before you deploy the machine to the location. Firstly, you need to log in the mobile system and enter the APB setting. You see, click device, find this code number, click this machine, there's one enter setting here, click enter setting, confirm. Then you need to enter the password on the screen, confirm. Now you see APB setting here, click APB setting. This is the APB setting page. Here you see turn on infrared sensor because this machine has infrared sensor, so we need to turn it on. Now let's set the time of entering advertisement page. This means that after you upload the advertisement, when no one touch the screen, in some time, these seconds, in some time it will enter from other page to advertisement page automatically in this time. Now I set 90 seconds. Now let's see turn on of product details. Firstly, let's see what does product detail means. Let's see the buying page. When you click this product, there's no product details. Now let's turn on the product detail and see what will happen. When you click this one, you see there's a product detail button here. Click the product detail. And then you can upload these details from the computer system. The users can check more details of this product. This is so internal advertisement. Now let's see, turn it on and see what will happen. You see this area, you can upload videos, image to this one we call internal advertisement area. Now let's see what does display show out means. Okay, now I turn it on. You see that when this product sold out, there is a stamp here showing the users sold out. When you didn't select sold out, when this slot showing out, this will be disappear from the screen. Next one, we see use shopping cart. Now let's turn it on. And you will see there's a setting for you to set the maximum product quantity for shopping cart. Click this one. There are many options. You can select the maximum products that the users can buy one time. Now we set sex. Okay, you can adjust like this. Just now we set the shopping cart maximum quantity four. Now let's see. It sees the shopping cart. So you see one, three, maximum four. If you need to add more, you cannot. Now let's see what's the meaning of these features. Number of products per row to be displayed at home page. Let's click it and see there's two options, four or five. What does it mean? Now you see on the buying page, one, two, three, four. Each row, there are four products displaying here. Now let's set this to be five. You see one, two, three, four, five. Five each row here. Now let's see what does combine slots with same products uh, means. Firstly, turn it off. Go to the buying page. You will see there are so many items here. Many of them actually they are the same, same products. If we turn on the combined slots with same products, what will happen? Turn it on, and then we see only a few items are listed here. All the slots combine the same products already combined into one image only. In this case, the users no need to select so many pages. For example, they need to buy a color, just click a color. 
After you finish all the testings, there are two very important steps you should do. The first step is to set the Wendy ADP as home ADP. The purpose of setting Wendy ADP as home ADP is to make sure the Wendy ADP will always running in the front during operation. Now let me show you how. Firstly, let's enter into Enjoy setting here and click APPs and click APP launcher you see there's a home APP here click home APP set this home APP click APP launcher finish sometimes you need to restart the Android after setting after you set the APP launcher as home APP it can go back to this when the ADP automatically the second step is to hide the state bar in the touch screen the purpose of this step is to avoid any users to get into the machine setting this is the so-called system bar during testing it will help you to do test faster now let's get it hidden enter android setting and you see display here here is high system bar click high system bar and then you see it is high 